When we brought the legislation out in 2017, we allowed five years for the rental industry to react to that and to get their properties compliant. So there's no intention whatsoever from QFES to extend the deadline. That will definitely stay as January 2022. Okay. If a rental property hasn't upgraded their smoke alarms by the deadline, what happens and are there penalties for non-compliance? Certainly is, John, and those penalties are quite, quite severe. But more importantly, if you don't upgrade your property by 2022, then you won't be able to rent your property out. And property managers will, will be looking at that as part of getting your home ready for the market. So it's really important that you react quickly to this and get out there and get ahead of the game so that you're not in the large queue at the end waiting to get it done before the deadline. Many property managers and landlords think the price of smoke alarm installations will come down if they wait. What are your views? John, my experience is with most of these things, as it gets closer to the deadline, the price actually goes up because people that are doing the work are more busy and therefore are, are quoting higher prices because they know they'll get them. So again, push forward, get it done sooner rather than later. The price of the smoke alarm themselves have dropped significantly over the last year, but I can't see them dropping much from here on in. So it's a matter of now of getting, it, getting on with it and getting it done. Research by the Smoke Alarm Association shows that as of today, less than 4% of rental properties have been upgraded so far. With more than 450,000 properties still to be upgraded and only 620 working days left before the deadline, what advice would you give the industry about when they should upgrade? John, without doing the math, that sounds like a hell of a lot of homes every day that need to be done. So if I'm a property owner right at the moment thinking about renting my property out, then I need to be doing it straight away because it's not going to wait for me. It's going to happen. The deadline's not going to change and you're going to find that you won't be able to rent your property out. If property managers or landlords require advice or guidance in meeting their smoke and arm upgrade responsibilities, who do you recommend they contact or where do they go? There's, there's a number of, of areas where they can go for that advice. Firstly, in the QFES website, there's a, comp a comprehensive amount of information there on what needs to be done by when and by whom. But also Smoke Alarms Association also provides that service free of charge. 